I'm gonna buy some ingredients to make this uh, pasta with artichokes, which is uh, been uh, requested by a lot of my customers. Because um, the artichokes are difficult to to clean and to prepare. First thing, I'm gonna have to sanitize my hands with this uh, amazing, uh, not because I sell it, it's a sanitizer, it's made by this friend of mine in Sardinia. It's organic and it's made with phenols, phenol and uh, rosemary. <clears throat> it's a very good sanitizer, very nice, it smells nice, anyway. That back, that's a sample. <clears throat> now, ingredients, most important, artichokes. So I'm gonna use two artichokes per person, because I like to be generous. But once it's, but by the time you clean them, and there'll be nothing left anyway. So four artichokes, these artichokes are from Sardinia, and we ship them from Sardinia ourselves. Sardinia is famous for artichokes, best artichokes in Italy. Chili, fresh chili, uh, a little bunch of parsley, which needs to be chopped to finish off the pasta, and uh, some uh, linguine, number eight. So this is spaghetti, linguine, linguine, yes, linguine, and uh, something that uh, I shouldn't really, but I need a little bit of white wine. I don't have any white wine at home because I drink red. I'm gonna take the cheapest one, it's 11 pound 30, it's the house white vermentino. And that needs to be finished off to finish off the, the dish. So I'm gonna go back home and cook it and make it, make sure you understand how to make it. I'm back from the shop. And today I was going to show you the pasta with artichoke, which is one of my favorite. And um, these Sardinian artichokes are uh, amongst some of the best artichokes in Italy. We were, were actually well famous for the Sardinian artichokes. And they contain 100% iron. So the less you cook them, the more they retain the, the vitamins. I will show you how to cook them with a pasta. And I will cook them very slightly. By the way, all these ingredients come from the shop. I've decided to last minute to change the pasta into the gluten-free rumo that we sell in our shop because I had a bit of a bloody stomach from yesterday. I had too much to eat. And this pasta gluten-free, it doesn't bloat you as much because your stomach has easier way to bring, um, break it down. So we're going to start with the preparing the frying pan. Okay, just put some olive oil in the frying pan. As you can see, just cover the bottom. Not too much, not too much, just a little bit. So I'm gonna prepare the garlic. Now normally I would allow one, one, glo one clove per person. I like to slice it thin, but not too thin, it doesn't matter. I like it sliced. But because I like it very garlicky, I put I put one and a half clove. So this goes straight to the frying pan. You can see. And with it, we're gonna put some, some chilies. I like it spicy, so I allow two chilies each. Crush them a little bit. I'm going to show you a quick way to clean an artichoke. Okay, first of all, you cut the stem out. Now, I like to keep that because when I was a kid, this was my favorite part. So, you can see the white inside and the green. So, all you do is you just with a knife, you just peel it off like this. And you just keep the heart of the, the stem like this. So you make sure all this dark green is gone because that dark green is very bitter. And this, mm, fantastic. So, oh, very easy. Now this normally, the sardine sugars have got very sharp spikes. These ones are less spiky. I think next week we get the other ones. It's another kind. There's several types. 
So all you do, you just chop the top off on the spiky part, you check in the bin. Get rid of a few more leaves on the bottom. And then, like you peel an apple with a very sharp knife, of course, a sharp knife is very important. In this case, I've got this uh, slightly curved little knife. And, and then, and then all you do is you basically all you have to do is to peel off all the dark dark green parts, and you keep the. I know everybody's scared about doing this, but. Uh, It's actually quite simple. You see? Now the sardine artichokes are fantastic because they are very tender. So you actually eat them raw. As a kid, my mother used to give us one each. We used to peel off each leaf, dip it in salt, oil and salt, and eat it one by one. We all end up with very black teeth because of the iron. Now we cut in the middle, as you can see, and then you get rid of the beard, it's called the beard. So the beard comes off like this. So you just take off the little bits from the middle. So, and that's clean. Okay, now I've uh, chopped all the artichokes, as you can see, they're not too thin, and they're nice and fresh, but if you don't want to get them oxidized, don't put them in water and lemon, because the lemon affects the flavor. Take the stalks of the parsley you get left. All the stalks, put them in a bowl of water and, and just put the artichokes in. It's a magic trick. So, I'm gonna cook the pasta first, because it takes about 11 minutes. So I'm gonna put all this pasta, that's uh, 200 gra 100 gram each, okay? Gluten-free pasta. I'm gonna put it in and let it cook for about 11 minutes. Wanna keep it nice al dente. Otherwise you can have it like 12 to 13 minutes. This pasta, gluten-free, now in Italy, they're making amazing gluten-free pasta. This is just as good as a normal pasta. So now, next step is, I'm gonna take the chopped artichokes and put them in a frying pan with the garlic and chili. Actually, we just give it a little blast because uh, we want to brown the garlic a little bit, not, not too much. Garlic and chili is in the pan, okay. Let it season a little bit, the olive oil. See, with big flames, it can be fast. But okay, now reduce a little bit. And I'm going to put the artichokes inside. As you can see, it's quite a large amount of artichokes there. Okay, put the blast in. the pasta is cooking for 11 minutes and I've sauteed the artichokes you know a little bit you don't want to cook them too much that's the secret don't cook them too much we don't want to boil them so I'm gonna add some of the our house wine is 11 pounds 50 is from our cantina company um, it's, it's too good to use for for cooking but this is the only thing I've got because I don't keep white wine at home because I uh, don't drink white wine as much. So I just put a little splash. Okay, you don't need too much, a little bit. Okay. Set it down again. And let it season a little bit. So now I'm gonna prepare, I'm gonna chop the parsley. 
which goes right at the end. This is Sabina. We have this habit when we use chili, we always add parsley, which is a contrast not to leave, leave you with, with too much taste of garlic in your mouth. I like the parsley to be chopped, but not too fine. I like relatively nice little chunks like this. So this goes right in at the end. So we're nearly done with the cooking, I think. Give it a stir. I'm gonna try one. Hmm. This is very good. I think I'll leave another minute. Have a little sip of this Vermentino. By the way, it's really good. I haven't had it for a while. Beautiful. So I've strained the pasta in a colander now. I've kept a, a tiny bit of water here just in case my pasta might be too dry. Now I'm finishing off to reduce the white wine. I don't want to reduce it completely. I want to leave a little taste of white wine. Okay, so you can hear it sizzling here. And now we get to the end of it, to the most crucial moment is to actually put the pasta in. I'm going to move this there. I need the space. And what I will do now is put the pasta in. You can see how to follow a parsley, I like it. Uh, a touch of olive oil at the end. What I haven't done is put a bit of black pepper because I like the black pepper, a bit more salt. The artichokes have been salted. I should have salted that before actually. So, so we need to mix the parsley with the other and the pasta. Now the pasta is getting a bit dry. What we do is put a little bit more of this water. What we must not do is to make to get the artichoke to be to get boiled almost. This is uh, ready, as you can see. Now the juice of olive oil. And uh, I'm going to move that from there. I'm going to put this nice round plate. And the last toss. And that's it. Turn it off. Excuse me. Now you can see that's a linguine gluten free al dente without the chop. And you can smell it. This is very good. And this is a, I know Tatiana, this client of mine, she wanted to me to go around to her house to show her how to do this because she loves it so much. But hopefully, you'll be watching this video and would show you. How to get it done. It's very easy. Very few ingredients. Garlic, chili, olive oil, parsley and artichokes. And the pasta. And a glass of white wine, of course. Salute.